A lot of us have a natural tendency to make decisions a certain way, which means that we overuse that. We have people who are making decisions independently. They don't get consultation from other people. They definitely don't hold majority. And they for sure do not waste their time with consensus. It's my way or the highway. It's Donald Trump all the way. <laughs> it's Donald Trump all the way, right? It's my way, the highway. And that works sometimes. And then we have people who they just want, I mean, let's all hold hands and sing kumbaya and <laughs> peace and love and let's spend as much. We have to take the whole day. Where are we going to have the Christmas party this year? <laughs> You're laughing because it's true. Sometimes those meetings happen over and over and over again. And that's the wrong process to make that decision. We need Donald Trump to make that decision. However... Tomorrow, we're going to be interviewing someone. We have four candidates coming in. And I could very quickly, it's in my purview, it's in my domain to say this is who we're going to hire. However, if the other people on the committee, if our other staff are not on board with me, that's not the right way to make the decision. So our decision-making process Need to e needs to evolve to what is the decision that's being made. Who is impacted by the decision? The more people are passionate about the outcome. So another way of saying this is, have you ever made a decision that someone disagreed with? <laughs> a large percentage of people disagreed with. The, and yet you need their buy-in in order to propel whatever decision is that you made. You need their buy-in then maybe you need to take the time to come together and try to reach consensus. Right? My natural tendency is more directive. It is more I get feedback from people and I make decisions. I hate taking the time to sit around the circle and hold hands and come by and try to make everyone feel better and are we all on the same page and it's so exhausting for me I just want to make the decision and move on right but sometimes I've had to learn that this is the approach that I need I need to make right so when you look on page 27 I don't know what I need to review because I kind of already reviewed it all in, in many different ways like so when it comes to individual decisions uh, you know, I make on a regular basis, I make decisions about marketing and, and how much we're going to spend and I don't consult with people, right? I can make that decision very quickly. We're painting the office a color, you know, like at the end of the day, I'm the one that's in contact with our handyman. I quickly get some opinions from people and we make a decision. I don't waste a ton of time. Majority decisions, I didn't talk much about that. Majority decisions are interesting because when it's an issue that people really, really, really strongly believe in, and it's a 51, 49% majority win, guess what 49% of the people are feeling? 